Hello everybody, for the past three years I have been making a Minecraft 1.7.10 mod pack called Questing Mayhem. This mod pack includes over 100 mods, 101 to be specific, and involves 1,400 and more quests. The mod pack is available to play for anyone who has a Minecraft Java account. I'm going to be showing you how you can install and play Questing Mayhem yourself right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your internet browser of choice. I'm going to be using Google Chrome, using the Ecosia search browser. Any search browser or internet platform will work. Next, you're going to want to go to app.twitch.tv. This is where you will download the Twitch app, which hosts the Questing Mayhem mod pack. You're going to get to this page right here. You don't have to log into Twitch just yet. You will later though, so you want to make sure you have a Twitch account. Download the appropriate Twitch app for your computer. Uh, don't worry about Twitch things. This is only available for Windows or Mac. I have Windows, so I'm going to download for Windows. It will pop up and it will ask you where do you want to put this on your computer. You're going to say wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put it on desktop for the sake of this tutorial. It will set up down here, and once it's set up, you will be able to find it wherever you put it. I put it at desktop, so it's at desktop right here. This is the setup for it, which will set up the launcher. You're going to double click on it to launch it, and install Twitch. It will install, this may take a few minutes. And once it's ready, it will launch Twitch automatically. Once it launches, you're going to be asked to sign into Twitch. Uh, so you can do you can type in your username and password here. If you don't have a Twitch account, you will have to make one, which you can do right here. Making a Twitch account is completely free. I'm going to type in my username and password. And you may be asked whether or not you are a robot, and you'll want to click on the capture and answer the questions you see. Once you have completed the capture, click continue. Then you're going to want to go to your email, which you have used to sign up for Twitch, and enter the verification information code. For security reasons, I will not be showing you the code I got. Once you have submitted your Twitch code, you will be brought to the Twitch homepage. Here you can view current streams that, are pe that people are streaming on Twitch, and you can also go to the mods folder at the top, which is where we will be going. Here you'll want to click on Minecraft, and that which will link your Minecraft account with your Twitch account. There are several tutorials online on how to do this. Next, you're going to want to click Browse Mod Packs. Questing Mayhem has yet to be installed to your Twitch account. So when you hit Browse Mod Packs, you can see some of the most popular Minecraft mod packs on the Twitch app, and we're going to want to search for Questing Mayhem. As you can see, it's the first one that pops up, and you, you can just simply click Install, and it will install Questing Mayhem for you. This may take a few minutes. But once it is installed, you can simply click the Play button right here. It will also show up in your My Mod Packs tab. Now before we start playing Questing Mayhem, I highly recommend you install Optifine. This is another mod that does not come pre-installed with Questing Mayhem, but significantly increases performance in almost every Minecraft game. To install Optifine, you'll want to once again go back to your internet browser of choice, and go to Optifine.net. This will take you to Optifine's official page, and from here, you'll want to click Downloads. Now, Questing Mayhem is a 1.7.10 mod pack, and so you want to download the Minecraft 1.7.10 version of Optifine. That will be very much near the bottom, and as Minecraft continues to come out with new updates, Optifine will continue to come out with new versions for those updates. So eventually, Optifine 1.7.10 may disappear from this list. However, there will be a direct link to Optifine 1.7.10 in the description 
of this video, which you can click on. So, you're going to want to click on OptiFind 1.7.10 HD UE7 and click Download. This will take you to an ad focus page, and you'll just have to wait for, for 3 to 1 seconds until it, this skip button appears. Don't click anything else on this page and click skip. Here, you'll be shown with download Optifine 1.7.10. You can click on this right here, and it'll once again ask you where you want to install Optifine. For now, we're just going to install it into desktop, which will be fine, but very soon, we're going to be moving it to the Questing Mayhem folder. So as you can see, Optifine is installed on my desktop, and we want to move that into Questing Mayhem so it is actually useful in Questing Mayhem. So we're going to go back to the Twitch app and right click on this play button. Here you'll view several options for Questing Mayhem. You can duplicate the profile if you want, if you want to have two versions of Questing Mayhem. You can open the folder, which is what we're going to do. You can play it or you can delete the profile if you so wish. We're going to open the folder for it. This is where you can see all the mods, the configs, the custom recipes that I've added to the pack. We'll get into that in the actual Let's Play. And you can also see all of the mods that are in this pack. This is where we're going to want to put Optifine. So, go back to your desktop or wherever you put Optifine, and just click and drag it into mods. There we go. And Questing Mayhem is now ready to play at your own convenience. You can simply hit the play button, and it will launch the Minecraft launcher. And from here, make sure Questing Mayhem is selected, and hit play. It will start to load Questing Mayhem. This may take several minutes, depending on how powerful your computer is, but it will eventually load and you can start playing it. As you can see, Questing Mayhem officially loaded up, and you can hit single player or multiplayer to start playing Questing Mayhem. There is a multiplayer server available for members of the community Discord, so if you want to play on the multiplayer server, please check out the, the official Discord of Questing Mayhem. I will be playing a single player series of Questing Mayhem and recording it to YouTube to act as a tutorial for Questing Mayhem, so if you're interested in that, you can check that out. If you're watching this video, there will likely be episode 1 of that series out now, which you can click on on my YouTube page. Thank you for watching this video.